Roland. Just say Roland. Hi, I'm Ben Blau, and I'm here with my good friends Casey and Craig Logan, and we are at the uh, beautiful uh, uh, Goldfish Tea House in downtown Royal Oak, Michigan. This is one of my favorite places in the world. If you ever make it here to Michigan, you got to come to Goldfish Tea. This place is spectacular. Uh, so we're going to try something today with the two of you, and uh, just in the spirit of full disclosure, uh, uh, Casey and Craig, they are both prof uh, professional mentalists, right? Um, but we have, just, you know, for uh, uh, the sake of the camera, can you please confirm that we have not set anything yeah. up in advance, no, and you guys have no idea at all what's about to happen here, okay? Now, obviously, we're going to do something here involving playing cards, and uh, I know that you guys, you know, that you know about cards because of what you do for a living, right? Uh, so we've got uh, one regulation deck of cards and two regulation human beings, and uh, <laughs> one regulation Ben Blau. Uh, because you're both professionals, I would assume that you would recognize a genuine riffle shuffle when you see one, yes? But just because the people at home don't trust me, is one of you any good at riffle shuffling cards? Okay, would you mind riffle shuffle those together and push them together slowly just so that everybody can absolutely see there's no question about the fact that these cards are being mixed, okay? So, obviously we're just dealing with a mixed deck of cards. And what I'd like to try to do here is something just involving numbers, okay? okay. And uh, for clarity's sake, we'll just use uh, some, some uh, red cards and some black cards. Uh, let's say we'll go with clubs on the one hand. Uh, so there's a club, there's a club, there's a club, and hearts, okay? So there's a heart, there's a heart, there's a club. There is a heart, a club. I'll try to do this as fast as I can because I don't want to miss any. Uh, there's a heart, there's a club, there's a heart, there's a club, uh, there's a heart, there's a heart, there's a club, there's a heart, there's a club, there's a heart, and there's a heart. I think that's all of them, okay? All right, so these just came out of a shuffle deck that you yourself shuffled, okay? All right. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to combine these two groups just by taking the cards and alternating them, okay? So, red, black, red, black. Now, I don't want to insult your intelligence and refer to this as a shuffle because technically it isn't, right? Mm -hmm. This is just meant to sort of interlace the cards, forming one combined group that uh, I could not have predicted the order in advance, okay? Okay. Um, as I said, they're not technically shuffled uh, until we mess them up a little bit, right? So we'll just give them a few additional mixes here. And as a matter of fact, Casey, maybe you can help me out. Okay. Could you cut a few cards right here? Sure. And Craig, could you please cut a few more cards right there? Brilliant. Okay, and we'll stack them up again. Uh, sometimes when I uh, have people cut cards that way, I like to point out that when you do that, uh, the top when you cut it off, it becomes the middle. Mm -hmm. In the middle, when you cut that off, it becomes the bottom. And when you stack them all up again, the top, or excuse me, the bottom, well, it becomes the top. So the packets really do displace themselves, mm -hmm. right? So we are in a situation now where we've got uh, a, a pretty good mixture of different values. But uh, Craig, I'm going to need a little bit more help from you. Or actually, Casey, you'll okay. do this for me. Um, there are exactly 20 cards here, okay? okay? So what we need to do is to divide this into two packets of exactly 10 cards apiece. But you can do this in one of two ways. Either you can deal off 10 cards into one pile mm -hmm. and then count off the other 10 into another pile. Mm -hmm. Or if you choose, you can deal them back and forth, like left, right, left, okay. right, left, right, as if you were dealing out two hands for some weird okay. kind of card game. It is up to you, okay? So uh, go ahead and you can make your decision. Space. Left, right, left, right, and continue doing that until you've exhausted all of the cards. Okay, good. All right, so uh, at this point, I think it's fair to say that uh, you don't know what cards are in which pile, and you don't know what, which cards are in which pile, and the truth is that I don't know which cards are in which pile, but as one final act of randomization, Craig, just because I know you know how to riffle shuffle, <laughs> will you please riffle shuffle those groups together, and that way we know for sure, okay, that we're dealing with a, a situation where everything is completely, totally mixed up, okay? Fair? All right, now this is where the fun part begins because I'm going to make two groups, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And I'm going to line them up just like so, okay? 
Now, in a moment, I'm going to turn my back, and each one of you is going to take one of those two groups. Okay. But I don't think it's fair if I know which one of you gets which one, okay? So you're going to wait until I turn my back, okay? Um, uh, when you take your group, feel free to shuffle it some more if you're so inclined. That's up to you. And uh, look through your cards. I want each one of you to simply think of one card from your respective group, okay? Uh, but just to make this harder on me, I would like for one of you to think of an odd-valued card and for the other person to think of an even-valued okay. card, all right? Uh, but again, I don't, I don't think it's fair for me to know which person thinks of what. So wait until I turn around and uh, decide amongst yourselves who's going to think of an odd, who's going to think of an even. And uh, I have a suggestion, okay? If you want to think of an odd card, signal to the other person like this, okay? If you want to think of an even card, just signal to the other person like this. That way you both know who's thinking of what, okay? okay. Um, it doesn't matter to me which one of you thinks of odd and which one thinks of even as long as they're not the same, okay? okay. So I'm going to turn my back, okay? Go ahead and uh, choose whichever package you like. We can shuffle them. You can shuffle them. It's up to you. And uh, when you're satisfied, decide amongst yourselves uh, who wants to think of an odd card and who wants to think of an even card. Let me know when you've made that decision. Yep. I'm good. You guys both have agreed mm -hmm. on... Okay, fine. So at this point, I want you to just look through your cards. Now, if you thought of an odd card, take out an odd card and remove it, but don't show each other. If you, saw, if you thought of an even card, take out an even card, and again, uh, take that out, but don't show each other, okay. all right? All right, so at this point, is there any chance whatsoever that either one of you will forget the cards that you chose? All right, I, I need you to co commit, <laughs> no. commit them to memory because that's absolutely <laughs> essential, all right? Because at this point, what I'm going to ask you to do is to exchange only those cards, but don't show them to each other. And Casey, could you please add Craig's card into your group? Okay. And Craig, you do the same. Add Casey's card back into your group and then shuffle them some more so that those cards are truly lost. Okay? So at this point, everybody has shuffled everything. Is that correct? That is correct. Actually, it is not correct, right? Because Casey, strictly speaking, you have not shuffled Craig's group. And Craig, you haven't shuffled <laughs> Casey's group. So why don't you trade packets and shuffle them some more? <laughs> And when you're satisfied, you can replace them on the table. Okay, are we all set? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if I turn around right now, all I'll see is two face-down packets of cards, yes? Correct. All right, fine. So, Casey, I'll start with you if that's okay. all right. All right? So, uh, because you traded back, I know that your card is in here someplace. You right? did not trade back. No, you traded and shuffled, yeah? Oh, okay. okay? You're right. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. <laughs> I get confused, too, sometimes, but it's okay. Uh, I, I know that your card is in here yes. somewhere, right? So um, because I'm not a psychic, I'm not going to try to just telepathically read your mind, okay. right? Um, but uh, I am going to try to get a read on you, okay? okay? So uh, I'm going to ask you to make two statements about your card. Okay. One of those statements has to be true. Okay. And one of those statements has to be a lie. Okay. But you get, to, you get to decide when you lie. Okay. So, for example, let's suppose that I thought of uh, the Ace of Hearts as an example. All okay. right? If I said my card is a red card, mm -hmm. that would be true. Right? If I said my card is a black card, that would be a lie. Uh -huh. right? If I said my card is an odd value, that would be true. Aces okay. are one. Right? If I said my card is an even value, that would be a lie. Okay. All right? So again, you're going to make two statements. One has to be true. One has to be a lie. Okay. You get to decide when you lie. Okay? okay? So question number one. Is your card red or black? Black. card is black. Okay. Now, that could have been true. It could have been a lie. And there's no way that I could possibly mm -hmm. know. Correct? All right. Fine. So if you answer that truthfully, remember that the next statement mm -hmm. has to be a lie and vice versa. So you understand the way this game mm -hmm. works, okay? All right. Question number two. Is your card odd or even? Even. Even. Black even is mm -hmm. what you said, all right? Okay, I'm going to pick up your packet, and I'm going to start by removing all the cards that I think it isn't, okay? So uh, let's just get rid of... Um, I don't think it's any of these, mm -hmm. okay? You did say black even, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Uh, do 
don't think it's I don't think it's this one. I don't think it's this one or this one. I don't think it's this one down to these two. Black even, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm getting the strongest feeling about this card right here. Okay, so I'm going to place it down right there, and I, I, I want to reserve my uh, uh, right to change my mind about this okay. card later. But for now, I'm going to commit to this, and just so that I cannot mess with it, I want you to place your hand face down on top of it for now, and that way uh, I can't get at it, right? Okay? Okay, so Craig, yes. uh, you thought of a card as well, and I know it's somewhere in this packet, yes? Okay. And we're going to play the exact same game. So you, you remember how the game works, right? Yes. One true statement and one lie, and you get to decide when you lie, all right? So, question number one. Is your card red or black? Black. Black. Okay. Question number two. Is your card odd or even? Odd. Odd. Okay. Now, for some reason, I'm finding you a little bit easier to read than Casey. I, I don't know why. And, uh, and you, you don't have to confirm or deny this, but I think that you lied when you said your card was black. You don't have to confirm or, den or deny that, but I, I think you lied when you said your card was black. So uh, just to make this twice as hard for me, here's what I suggest. Why don't we just take all of the cards and shuffle them all together? Are we good? Yeah. All right, fine. So if I were to look through this packet of cards right now, and locate the one card that you merely thought of. This is just a thought in your mind, right? Yeah. Would you be mildly impressed? Mild, yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I would be too, but that's not good enough for me. Okay. Because if I were a real mind reader, I wouldn't need to look through this packet of cards at all, would I? Okay. I should just be able to name the card that you thought of from the very beginning of this experiment, right? So let's do this. I'm going to have you count down out loud, starting from 10 all the way down to ace, okay? Uh, and you're going to do this out loud for me. Take your time. Start now. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Actually, that's enough. I think I've got it. All right. You thought of the seven of hearts, didn't you? <laughs> and Casey, <laughs> Casey, what was your card? Four of hearts. Four of hearts. Turn it over. Let's see how I did. Four of hearts. Got that's them nice. both. I'm kidding. That's nice. Thank you very much. That made me happy. Yay. <laughs> All right.